Ah, oh, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Yeah, that's where we're at. Not the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Uh, we have a beer to drink. Uh, fancy that, eh? Uh, the beer we're going to drink today is right over here. It's from Lake Wilcox Brewing Company in Vaughan, Ontario. It's 5.5% alcohol. I just burped hot peppers right up my nose. I'm trying to, uh, sorry for the, uh, the, the intrusion here, but I need to wait for that burn to go away before I do anything anyway, but I'm trying to, uh, build my palate back up because I haven't done a hot sauce review in forever. I still eat, like, super hot food all the time, but, uh, I'm trying to build up just the raw pepper set stuff again, so I was down here eating some, uh, I made some nachos, and I put a whole bunch of Carolina Reapers, Scorpion Peppers, and uh, and Ghost Peppers on it. You know, all chopped up into little pieces. But I put that on there, and uh, yeah, that burp burnt. The whole burp burnt. It makes me a little worried about my pee later. Uh, anyway, this is the <laughs> Lake Wilcox Irish Red. So, uh, yeah. 21 IBU, 11 on the SRM. Seems a little... Uh, Seems a little light for a red, to be honest with you. Eleven. Eleven seems a little light. Um, let's push that over there. Let's grab my cup. Now... That is what I look for in an Irish red, color-wise. That is just a beautiful, beautiful amber hue. That looks great. The head, slightly off-white. Nice snap, crackle, pop. This this looks fancy. This looks exactly like what I want in an Irish red. Scent? The scent kind of exactly what I want in an Irish red, too. A uh, little bit of that, a uh, little bit of licorice and a little bit of nibs, both the cherry, so this cherry and the strawberry. Little tiny just touches of those, as well as caramel. And just a nice roasted malt scent. So caramel, roasted malt, cherry, and, and uh, strawberry is what I'm getting off of this. Let's try it. Cheers. I'm excited. Now what I was hoping for was for this to be just as good as it was on tap because I did try a little sample of it at Lake Wilcox when I was when we were there when we picked this bottle up and I must say this is one of those beers that was better on tap at the brewery uh, the bottle just kind of doesn't give it as give it justice. It's still a good beer. It's still a good Irish red. I mean, it's still what I want in an Irish red. Almost, it, I think it. I think the bottle is just a little sweeter than what I'd like. Where, uh, where in the on tap, it had a little bit more roast. Now I don't know if they were the same batches uh, of beer. I don't. I, this is a small batch, so I would assume that it's the same batch. But again, that's making an assumption. I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna say maybe they were different batches. But the one I had on tap was just a nice roastier beer. Other than that, they're the same beer. That's just more fruity, and that one was more roasty. So I liked that one better. That being said, nice caramel notes, nice slight cherry note and uh, licorice note, as well as a little bit of roastiness. The roastiness goes from the beginning all the way to the end. The end is just kind of roasty and earthy, and it goes away right away. A little bit of biscuitiness as well, but again, that fades pretty damn quickly. All in all, it's a good Irish red. All in all, I cannot complain. All in all, this is just continuing to show, to me at least, that uh, Lake Wilcox knows how to make some good beer. And I never, I never uh, thought they didn't know how to make good beer. I just didn't realize how much good beer they could put out so quickly. I mean, none. They, Lake Wilcox, to me, is one of those breweries 
much like say uh, much like say old Camerons or uh, or Black Oak or something like that or uh, old Nickelbrook before they started doing all their barrel ages and lab series and all that. Excuse me, a brewery that can make a whole bunch of very solid beers. So you could go in, you could buy about eight different beers, go home with those eight different beers, and have eight very good beers to drink. None of them were like, none of them would be, oh my god, mind-blowing, but they were all solid with nothing wrong with them, and you could always go back and get them because they taste perfectly fine, they're perfectly acceptable, and they're perfectly shareable with people. Uh, and I think that's what these guys are to me. They're, if I lived in the Vaughn area, I would, well, one, I would have, uh, I would be in an area where I could go and get any of the hyped beers in Ontario I really wanted, but at the same time, I would be near a place like this where I can go in and get a cheaper priced alternative to some of the big hype beers that I'm still going to enjoy. Maybe not to the exact same extent, but I'm still going to enjoy. And I mean, I, I, I feel weird. I hope that if a person from Lake Wilcox watches this and they understand what I mean. I, I did talk to Ray. I think he understands what I mean. Like, I, I really do appreciate these beers. And I could see myself drinking these beers all the time. I just, uh, I don't think for somebody that may, let's say somebody that's always after uh, uh, Trillium or Treehouse or Bellwoods or, uh, and it's not that I think Bellwoods is in the same, but I'm going with some hyped U U.S. breweries with some hyped Canadian breweries or a Man Antler or uh, Half Hours on Earth or, or uh, if, you, if those are the places you chase, you might not love this. But if you grew up on craft beer, if you, uh, if you grew up on regular beer and moved on to craft beer, and you started with some of the GLB stuff, some of the old Amsterdam stuff, some of the Nickelbrook stuff and all that, this could be a new home for you. Because this stuff is just as good, just as just as diverse, and just as shareable. Uh, out of 10 on this beer, I, I'd give it a 775. Uh, out of 10 on it, when I had it on tap, I'd probably give it an 8 or an 825. So I did like it a little bit better than this. It was a little bit more roasty, not as sweet. Uh, again, I don't know if that's a different batch or not, but regardless, it doesn't matter. The Irish Red from Lake Wilcox is a solid beer. And if you get the chance to try it, you might as well give yourself that uh, that ability to do so. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be to see you soon. Cheers. <sighs> Bye.